guys so this is going to be a super quick weekly check-in um the final week of september now which is actually insane when you think about it um so one thing to mention before i get started is we have a mixture of highlighters primarily because one of my nephews has taken some and they're somewhere upstairs i just need to find out where he's left them um so yes if anyone's wondering probably not but thought i'd cover that just in case so let me just zoom you in quickly okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the 24th that's where i kind of left you last video so on the 24th i had a hair appointment and i need to go to town basically so i spent four pound and 70 pence um on travel it went up from like the 440 or whatever it was before which kind of sucks but i guess everyone's in the same boat with the cost of living right now okay next up obviously we have my hair appointment um i had 60 pounds in my hair envelope um so i used that towards it but I hadn't the full amount um, and I basically was kind of in a slump where I looked at pictures and was like absolutely not you need to get your hair done um, so I actually took the remaining 99.99 actually it wasn't that but I can't remember how much it was it was under £100 and above £90 um, so I took that out of my personal savings which I'm not at all sorry for it's giving me such a confidence boost um and then because i didn't some of you are gonna think i'm crazy but because like my hair didn't come to the high amount i thought it was going to um i bought some donuts there is a donut shop down here that is like i feel like you need to have it um and i've been here like an entire year and i haven't and i always go past it because it's near like the bus stop i get on and it is really expensive and it was just me and my brother-in-law at home so i was like you know what i'm just gonna grab us a share of like four donuts um and that was like under a tenner which is still expensive don't get me wrong but i'm not gonna buy them ever really um unless i feel highly depressed or something and i go past it um because they are really expensive but to be honest some of the flavors that they generally do that they didn't have at the time like red velvet and salt with caramel they sound incredible um so you never know never say never but it's not my intention to um next up i went to costa and got a free coffee so i guess i don't know what to put that as we'll go with cash envelope because it would have come out my monzo account but i didn't need to because i bought the gift card um then on the sunday did absolutely nothing except clean the house. Oh, I really can't see it. Um, clean the house, tidy up, that kind of stuff. So I didn't actually leave the house at all. So that was a no spend day, which is insane. Next up, um, on the Monday, I always bake on a Monday when I'm in the office the first three days. Um, because I find it easier if I just bring in baked goods midweek, um, rather than leaving it. I don't know. It's just the way I roll. Um, so I spent about seven pounds um, in total and I used my money from my activities envelope. Um, I ended up making custard cream blondies, which went down a treat. And then I spent £10.99 on Amazon. Oh, I bought a number of um, different things. Obviously, this was unbudgeted though. Let's be realistic here, guys um there we go um and then my portion of my youtube premier premier uh, what am i saying basically me and my friends pay for youtube like a subscription um so we don't have any ads or anything like that and between us it's like two pound like nine each or something so i always budget for this so this is a budgeted bill Um, and then my money box money came out and that was a fiver as usual 
and then we also had my phone bill come out which is 23 pounds now if you are an an eagle am i saying words that make sense an e i want to say an eagle <laughs> basically if you pay attention to my videos you'll know that i always budget 28 pounds and that's because i think i wrote it down a bit funny one time and i thought my three was an eight but i don't mind having that five pound buffer in my uh budgets so it's technically 23 pounds but i always budget 28 and no spend followed that on the 27th and then on the 28th um i actually decided to do a big asos order um i'd budgeted for this um based on like a few refunds i'd got from other deliveries i'd had um and then i made sure that i had money um to do it so it was a big order of 91 pound 86 so that actually did come out from there um i did take so i have already like tried it on and i've returned two items and that should give me maybe like 30 pounds back or something like that um so yes all in all very good i mean the things i kept were pretty much black and gray so we need to work on that but all in all there are just there's so much i want from asos um and it's not necessarily that i don't have the money it's more the fact that nothing i ever want is there when i want it like it's always out of stock never comes in and then asos play this little game with me where they're like oh here's a notification it's back you click on it no it's not why are you lying to me anyone else just me am i getting ragey at asos um next up we went to the shop um and i bought the boys some chocolate basically and that was 120 and then we had my prime come out of my account and that was eight pound 99 so a budgeted bill there okay then thursday was payday so yesterday i was ecstatic <laughs> i felt like i'd got my budget sorted um i'll leave the link for my budget with me in the description below if you haven't seen it um but i'm feeling very organized um and i basically decided to treat myself to a 10 pound starbucks top up um there is both a starbucks and a costa drive through close to me if you can't tell um so yes i'm trying to curb the spending but realistically yeah it's not really working guys <laughs> um we do have a like a just a dolce gusto is that what it's called um coffee machine with the pods but i'm someone that needs it to be like particularly sweet so i can't taste the coffee so if anyone knows of any pods or anything for that where you can't really tell let me know um but in the meantime that's one of my biggest spends. Then next up, we had my Spotify money come out and that was 9 99 So a budgeted bill there. Again, we went to the shop um, and we used my Monday account and the boys got some chocolate. And that was because I had to go into that shop for my return anyway. Um, so I thought if I was dragging them with my big box that I would give them some like an incentive um then we had my chip money come out and that was five pound 94 as you can tell normally i like round it down to like a pound but because i knew it was payday um i was like you know what we'll be a bit spendier today um today i've actually spent nothing which is amazing I'm not gonna lie tomorrow i will oh gosh i really can't actually see that guys sorry there we go so no spend today tomorrow i will be spending money mainly because i need to go into town and get my cash out for my cash stuff in so i will for sure be using at least money to get into town and probably my starbucks gift card or something like that to get a coffee so hopefully it will be minimal um but yeah that is literally the month if we're being realistic here um so let's see how we've done in total so i've had 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven no spend days out of thirty. You know what? I'm gonna take that. <laughs> it could be way worse. Obviously, it could be way better. Um, but it's fine. It's not. I don't feel like it's as yellow as it has been in the past either. So we're taking wins as well, guys. It's not all bad. So I feel like obviously it's that time of the video that I get rid of this. And we look at our savings challenges because of course we have some money. I think actually as well. No, it's fine. We'll do that in my um, cash stuff in videos. So just ignore me. Um, but we have our weekly fiver in here. So this will of course go into my five pound savings challenge as always. that in there and we will add our five pounds it's coming along nicely let's give it a count and then we'll see if I can actually count <laughs> So we've got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160. And like I always say, guys, Lord knows where that money would have gone if it was just sat in my bank. It would not be in my bank, let's put it like that. So we are coming across, along very nicely with this. Um, and I'm excited because if you would have watched my budget with me, again, still be linked down below, um, you will know that I'm going to be filling up these two specifically um, in the next video, basically. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to be as short as I could, but you know me. So yeah, until I see you next time, which will be my cash stuffing video. Um, yeah, until then. Bye guys.